the government of God is, is full of riches and wealth and the economy is always supplying new things to the earth. So in Jacob's ladder, you're seeing that angels are traveling with provisional assignments from heaven to earth. Jacob is a sowing worshiper unto God. He's honoring God, he's building altars. And he's creating places where he gives God an experience. Your altar is where you create a specific place in the day, in the week, in your activities where you are creating pleasure for God. So your altar, that's why Elijah, when he was destroying the prophets of Baal, he used the altar. And they had their altar as well. So imagine they had their altar unto Satan. When you come into the earth realm, that's where, that's where everybody has an altar unto Satan. You have to learn the altar unto God. That's why it says you must be born again. Because when you're born again, the altar unto God is revealed to you by the leading of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is carrying the wisdom for what to do in finances all the time. You have to get rid of stubbornness and fear and lust and things that keeps you occupied mentally because there's so much Holy Spirit strategies for the mind so that you can live a good life. When the Holy Spirit is giving you strategies about money is because he wants you to have a good experience. Remember the prayer unto the disciples, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. In heaven, all of God's economic plan for each person is being fulfilled. When you came to the earth, there was a book concerning your finances, what you were supposed to achieve, what you were supposed to unlock, what you were supposed to decree, what you were supposed to sow, and what you were supposed to reap in finances so when the holy spirit has authority over your life he teaches you how to sow sowing is so important because god sees that you're you're willing to make an investment in what he told you is his plan for your life people invest in many things people invest in car insurance house insurance they invest in medicaid health insurance they invest in so many different things throughout the course of their life. But blessed is the man that invests in the plan of God for his life. You'll have to sow to reconnect the things that God wants to happen to you. Sowing reconnects your day with the plan and the calendar and the daily bread. Every day you have daily bread. Sowing brings you into your daily bread. Sowing brings you into your daily bread. That means every single day there's a new bread scheduled for you to retrieve, receive, and to eat. It's for you. Now, in 2 Corinthians chapter 9, it revealed that he gives you bread for food. He ministers seed to the sower, but bread for food. So when you are a sower, God is not just taking from you and leaving you without anything to eat. When you're sowing, and God is responsible for your provisional aspect as far as food. He give you bread for food. So he is providing for you while you're sowing. He is making sure you eat. He's making sure you have something to wear. He's making sure you have somewhere to lay your head. So sowing is a beautiful place where you recognize that God had already predestined my provision. He already knew that he was going to ask me to sow this, and he already knew what he was going to give me to sustain me until I have overflow. The Lord sustains you until he makes you rich. Being rich means that God is not in that place where he has to just sustain you. You have overflow, and you actually could sustain somebody else. The Holy Spirit want to graduate you in the financial anointing, so it won't always be about you. When you growing up in the financial anointing, you notice all the situations about what about my bills? What about my thing? It's all about you. But when God is able to 
solidify you in the realm of finances that you was created to walk in, you'll understand that you are a dominator and you're the lender and not the borrower. That you have divine finances that you are a carrier of, a steward of, and these finances will not stop coming to you because they're being supplied by the God that received your seed. The sower must take time to look at the God that's receiving their seed. Take time to really evaluate it is the Lord that's receiving my seed. And the Lord is rich and the Lord is loving and the Lord is kind and he's patient and he's gentle and he's caring. You're sowing into a caring God that cares about your health. He cares about your blood in your body. He cares about your bones, your ligaments. He cares about your pains and aches. And so you're sowing into someone that has your back. Divine backing is in the seed. When you sow seed, there's divine backing. When you sow seed, the economy of God is beautifully revealed through your conditions on earth. When you sow seed, God advances you to carry in more money. When you sow seed, the Holy Ghost will start to convict you about the seed names. There are targets that finances hit when you sow it into God. And those targets and those pressure points are areas where God wants you to recognize, I'm going to supply my power here, and I'm going to bring you justice here, and I'm going to judge this, and I'm going to bring deliverance here. Sowing is the relief plan of God. It's God's FEMA. There, there is a salvation army of angels that minister for the sower to cause your life to inherit good times. Sowing unlocks good news. Sowing requires you to constantly watch your man of God because sowing is not a fleshly thing. It is spirit and it is truth and the grace to sow is increased as you're watching your man of God. You have to see his face. You have to hear his voice. You have to listen to him because that's how sowing works. God places all on your head to sow when you are watching your apostle, when you're looking at your apostle, when you are studying your apostle. Anybody that ever tell you to not watch your apostle is a thief because that's how the thief works. The thief will cause you to die down that sowing grace because you have pride and now you can't even honor God so that the thief can accomplish stealing, killing, and destroying. Sowing hinders Satan. That's why Satan hinders sowing. 